Miss Flo here, and today I'm just going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to uh, make your make most of your files size smaller. Okay, so let's say for example you have a one gigabyte file. Um, it can possibly be sized down to about let's see. I just recently did that to this. 13.1 megabytes, okay? That's what it turned out for me. I had a 1.0 something gigabyte file. Same exactly as this. No quality loss as, um, I don't think it lost any quality, but it, I'm sure it didn't get affected too much. As you guys can see, it still looks awesome. Um, and I don't see any difference, to be honest. Except the file size is a lot smaller for this video that I'm watching or showing you guys right now. Um, so, yeah, this is very helpful. If you, like, you know, want to preserve some space in your hard drive and stuff. So, yeah, this is a... You just got to download a software called Handbrake. It is worth downloading. Um... Now, I don't know, oh, yeah, it's it's available for Windows. Before, I did not know that, but now, I, that, now that I read this, it is available for Windows. So, you know, that's good. Um, for Windows users, I actually have a different program that I suggest y to you guys. I just can't use it on my Mac because, obviously, the program that I'm gonna s I could suggest to you guys is only for Windows, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, I used it when I had my Windows laptop running. But if you guys want to see that, I'll do it in a different wi video. Uh, I'll show you guys the, you know, the, um, the link or the page to that. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Back to this. Um, just download it from here, and you should be all good. Now, um, I guess I could just exit out. No point. Anyway. I'm going to be converting this 87.2 megabytes video. So just open up your handbrake after you download it. Um, I already converted some. Okay. So, you know. Good file. You can go to file open source if it doesn't, you know, prompt you to choose your file as soon as you open it. Um, so, yeah. Cl now, usually it's going to be on normal. And usually when it's on normal, it's going to say the output, uh, it's going to change your dimensions. But in this situation, it did not. So you can either choose normal or high profile. Um, sometimes it also changes the dimensions, whether you like it or not. So I don't know. I honestly, hold on. I don't know what happened. I mean, this worked for me. I guess it's an mp4 file, but, um, I thought it was an mkv, but whatever. Uh, let's just stick to mp4. Now, I suggest just choose high profile, because most of the time it's gonna not change your, uh, output dimensions, or your, it's not gonna, most of the time it's not gonna change your dimensions. If it does, then I have no clue, um normal usually changes it that's what i can tell you now um so i usually just choose high profile and save it to wherever you want you know and if it's a short video it's going to take a long i mean a short amount of time to convert and it should say that but if it's a long video then expect it to be about like 30 minutes or so so let's just open this up as you guys can see it is 87.2 now let's open this and this one is 242 kilobytes whoa now let's see if it lost some quality here it still looks awesome um that is amazing i mean 242 kilobytes again 87.2 megabytes i mean if you want to preserve space that's pretty good um, I don't usually change the settings on Handbrake, uh, so, yeah. 
But uh, like I said, sometimes I don't know how to change the dimensions when at when you're using handbrake. So if it forces you to change your uh your your dimensions, I really don't know what else to do. Like if you see twelve eighty by seven twenty and twelve eighty by you know, 916 or whatever. I don't even know if that's possible. But let me show you guys an, uh, an example here. See, as you guys can see, it's like, I don't know. It's all normal. If I change it on high profile, it's weirder. So, like, I don't know how to change this. This is why I like the, this Windows program uh, that I was talking about earlier. And I think I'll talk about that in a different video because people who have a Mac will be like, dude, it's not part of the tutorial. So, you know. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Next video, um, I'll try to show you guys the Windows program that I highly recommend. Okay? Alright, bye.